If you clicked on this video, you most likely don't want to live a normal life. I'm going to keep this very short and concise. I don't want to give you some cringy, like, serious intro. Pay attention. If you want to be exceptional, if you want to be successful, I'm not talking about this guru shit you see online all the time. I'm talking actual facts here. In real reality, if you want to achieve physical, measurable success, like I've made £10,000 in a month, for example, that's a metric you can measure. If you want to achieve success like this, exceptional highs, make more money than doctors, pull off insane, you know, probabilities with crazy high risk. If you want to do these things, you have to be willing to also experience the exceptional lows. An exceptional life doesn't come with just one end of the spectrum. I'm going to let you in on a secret of the universe, right? A couple of them, actually, because I'm generous. Nothing in life moves in just a straight line. Nothing just goes like this, okay? The law of vibration states that everything is constantly vibrating energy. It's an energy source. So everything's constantly fluctuating like this. Up and down, up and down, up and down, okay? That's how life is. That's how everything in life operates. Stock market is a prime example. I've learned this life lesson, actually. It's been solidified in my mind through trading, which I'll go into in later videos. Now, with that being said, if you want to make 10 grand a month and you want that exceptional high, you want to make more money than doctors in one month, okay? And you want to maintain that lifestyle consistently. You have to be willing to endure and go through the painful lows that may exist on the opposite end of the spectrum. Have you ever heard of the law of polarity? Yet another law of the universe I tell you guys to study all the time. The law of polarity states that something cannot exist without an opposite end of the same thing. So for example, there is no light without dark. There's no black without white. There's no sunshine without rain. The list goes on. You understand my point. Good without evil, etc. right? Everything that exists has a polar opposite, masculine, feminine, male, female, yeah, genders as well, everything. Now, with that being said, exceptional highs also, for you to tap into this experience in the 3D physical realm of life, then you have to have the polar opposite of an exceptional high, which is, guess it, an exceptional low. <laughs> so if you're sat there complaining about your problems that you've got, your injury or your disease that you've caught or your girlfriend broke up with you and now you're heartbroken, she's cheating on me or I just lost loads of money trading or whatever or investing in a business and it failed. Whatever the situation is, whatever problems you can think of right now in your mind as you hear me speak these words to you, you're meant to be feeling those problems. You don't want normal people problems like, oh, what should I have for dinner? Should I get a chicken sandwich or a tuna sandwich? You don't want boring problems. That's not an exceptional life. That's not a life worth living. It's not a life people are going to remember you for. It's not a life where you're going to have stories to tell, inspiring stories. I could tell you plenty of stories of things that I've gone through, which I have done in the past. Things that I've pulled off with fucking immeasurable odds in such a short space of time. And I've just pulled it off. I've done it. I've achieved an exceptional high because I've been willing to endure and go through the exceptional lows if they present themselves, which they don't always. But if they do, you have to be willing to go through them. Now, how do we do this? A couple of ways. First of all, I want you to understand the 3D reality that we live in. This life is a simulation, it's a video game. It, none of this is real to a certain degree. And I'll tell you why. I know this sounds a bit wishy-washy, it sounds a bit weird, right? But I'm going to tell you why in logic this is not real. The 3D realm is the physical realm. It's things that you can touch, right? I could touch the camera lens right now. I could feel things in the 3D physical realm. I could open my bank account in the physical realm and see no money in it, for example, right? That's a physical experience in life. Now, this is irrelevant. The 3D physical realm, to some degree, is irrelevant if you're trying to use this manifestation tactic that I'm talking to you about here. Because let's say you open your bank account and there's no money in it. You could think, well, I'm broke. I hate my life. My life is shit. Why would I want to live this life? There's no hope. I can't see a way out. It's uncertain. I'm scared, right? Which is completely understandable. But you can use your mind to almost time travel you into a situation where you want to be. Okay, you can take your mind, take yourself out of this current 3D physical reality. Imagine yourself in a new one with money in the bank account, for example. You living a life of abundance and wealth and riches and health and everything else that you want in this life. You can imagine that vividly. And you know what you'll feel? You'll feel emotion. If you do it properly, you'll feel excited. You feel happy. You might even smile randomly. You might just be sat in your chair like I am right now. If you close your eyes and imagine yourself with loads of money, 
you just made fucking 10k in a day something ridiculous an exceptional high imagine it feel it what would it feel like if you pulled that off right now and you made ten thousand pounds in one day what would that feel like yeah take that same emotion from the visual i'm smiling already just messing around with you just doing it already and i'm still smiling that's how powerful it is right so you take that imagination and you bring the emotion that you've got from that imagination into your current present moment. And you then use that emotional fuel to push through the exceptional lows, i.e. being broke, i.e. heartbreak, etc., etc. You understand what I'm saying? Do you, do you see where I'm going with this? How powerful this is? How none of this shit is real? And this is why you must always stay positive. This is my second point. Because... <clears throat> If you are down at these exceptional lows, you might be feeling, well, this shit, I feel sad, I feel this, I feel that. Again, 3D, physical feelings. I feel, I feel, I feel. It doesn't matter. It's irrelevant what you feel. Because two seconds later, you might have won the lottery and you might feel different. So your feelings are fluctuating just like everything else. Remember, nothing is permanently in a straight line. It all fluctuates and it will never stop doing that. Your life will forever fluctuate till the day that you die. You will forever have exceptional highs, exceptional lows, problems, solutions, successes, failures, sad, happy. That will always happen. That's never going to end. You understand? So with that in mind, why would you choose to feed into a negative mindset? Because if you're at rock bottom down here and you feed into a negative mindset, this is shit, I'm scared, it's never going to get better, always happens to me. Guess what's going to happen? You're aligning your mind, which is the key here, to the physical reality of negativity, brokenness, scarcity. You know what's going to happen then? You know what your future is going to look like? It's going to stay there. You see those 40-year-olds still working the same job? Oh, yeah, I've been doing this since I was 16. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of boring. Hopefully one day I'll win the lottery. Why do you think they're still there? They don't change this. They don't take this and attach it to a new possible reality and then work towards that reality. They just keep it here. Negativity. Luck. Oh, I'm just unlucky. Don't even get me started on that, bro. Hydration break before I carry on. Mm. So if you're down here and you're having problems and you're going through some shit right now and you feel sad, you feel negativity in this present moment, what do you do? You take your mind, you use your positivity, you think positive, you visualize positive thoughts that you might achieve in the future, and you simply just carry on, you work through it. And you understand with the mindset I just mentioned before, that if you want to achieve an exceptional life and you wanna have the capability of great success, you have to be willing to experience the lows that come with that success. Remember, there's always a polar opposite. For you to feel absolutely euphoric and feel nice, happy, gratitude, great positive emotions, there has to be the opposite end of the spectrum. There has to be sadness, pain, grief, anger that exists within the universe. Because if it wasn't, then you wouldn't be able to feel the other side of the spectrum. Because it wouldn't make a difference. If you, all you ever felt was happy all the time, forever. Number one, it would be boring. There's no experience. There's no change. Life is just the same. But number two, you won't be able to appreciate it the same. You know why being happy feels so good? Because you know what feeling sad feels like and you don't like it, do you? And there's a reason for that. And that brings me on to my last point. When I tell you to be willing to endure these lows, it's because there is a lesson in every single low. Every time you drop down, every time the stock market goes down, there's a lesson. Why did it do it? Analyze. Analyze your situation. Why have you found yourself here now? Why are you broke? Why did your girl leave you? Why did your dog die? Et cetera, et cetera. Why do you feel the emotions that you do around the situation that you're thinking of? lessons learn think use this man use your fucking brain take those lessons apply it to who you are as a person apply it to your mind become more knowledgeable fucking kids screaming bro shut up become more wise okay and you know what's gonna happen you'll bounce back from that exceptional low and you'll go even higher than you were before so let's imagine this is your reference point that you were operating on bam you hit a roadblock girl left you now you're down here you feel like shit if you analyze the situation, well, my girl left me because I was a boring cunt. Cool, I learned that, applied it to my mindset, I'm gonna be more fun and, and spontaneous and exciting and charismatic and funny and witty and charming. Nice, I learned. Now, when you come back up again and you've exhausted that emotional fuel, you've used that sadness and grief in the gym, for example, you've used the fuel, now you're gonna naturally go back up again. But instead of going here, 
on the standard reference point you were before. Now you're gonna shoot all the way up here. So now your normal day-to-day -day life is automatically better than what it was because you've learned, you're more knowledgeable, you're wiser now than the person that was operating on this vibration, okay? So it's all vibrational frequencies, it's realms, and even in a logical sense, I don't even wanna to get too wishy-washy. If you go around and you just think negative thoughts all the time, oh, I'm broke, I hate my life, it's so shit, it's so bad, uh, uh, uh. moaning, 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 complaining, 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 like that does anything, it's not gonna change your situation. Worrying is another one, anxiety, fear. I'm scared, what if, it don't, what, what if I get rejected? What if I don't pull it off? That's not gonna change your situation. That's allowing you to only focus on negativity. If I step outside my house and I think the color red over and over again, I'm gonna notice the color red more than if I didn't think the color red. You understand? And it's the same with your problems. If you step outside and all you're thinking about all the time is your problems and how shit your life is, you're gonna notice things that reaffirm that belief into your mind. So in order to change that, you've got to flip your mind. You've got to flip the script. And it takes work. It's easier said than done. It's fucking difficult, especially when you're in the situation in the 3D world. It's hard to then just think positive. But what alternative do you have? Are you going to kill yourself? Are you going to accept the negativity and live like this forever? No. It's going to be difficult anyway. It's difficult to stay down here, a fucking loser that no one knows. Living a shit life, that's fucking difficult. It's difficult to think positive and bring yourself out of it. Choose what difficult you want to experience. All right. With that being said, look after yourself. I know I said I was going to keep this one short. I mean, it's shorter than my usual ones, but you know, suck my dick if it's too long. I don't really care. Um, look after yourself, bro. It's been nice. Oh, that was a nice stretch. Make sure you're staying hydrated. You're looking after yourself. You're doing your push-ups. Don't be lazy. Coaching's down below. Sexual mastery's down below. I'm also teaching you guys how to trade and literally print money from your phone. If that guy's literally this morning as I was making this fucking video, texting me saying, oh, I'm 1.2K up in the morning, bro. Like an hour, 1.2K, ridiculous, bro. So if you want to learn how to do the same thing and literally make people's monthly salaries within 30 minutes, an hour, ridiculous kind of numbers have been pulling and the numbers that my clients have been pulling. If you want to be one of them, links down below in the description, go and find it. It's the coaching link. I will see you soon. Take care. Bye.